To celebrate its first full year observing our universe, JWST has released this stunning new image of the closest star-forming region to Earth. This is the Rho-Ophiuchi cloud. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right, so I'm going to call it Rho-O for short. It's just 390 light years away, meaning that it can be imaged with incredible clarity and resolution, and there are no Milky Way stars between us and it, meaning there is nothing blocking our view of this stunning cosmic character. The scene here contains approximately 50 young stars in various stages of formation, many of them shining bright enough to give us those famous diffraction spikes that all JWST images contain. Over here, we even get some sweet double spike action from two stars very close together on the sky. Most of these stars are about the same mass as our sun, but this one here is much more massive. It's simply named S1, and the radiation being ejected from this star has carved a huge cavity around it. The material around the cavity is a collection of dust and gas, largely composed of soot-like grains called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. The wispy details and the textures visible here are stunning, and gives a beautiful, ethereal feel to it all. The darker areas of the image are much denser, thick with dust making it harder for us to see behind those clouds. The other dominant feature in the image is the huge red jet on the right hand side. There is also a second red jet too running horizontally across the top of the image. These are jets made of molecular hydrogen being blown off of hot young stars as they form. Star formation is a very violent and high energy process, and it's very common for the radiation and magnetic fields produced to blow off a lot of material in huge jets like these. I think the colours used throughout this image are absolutely breathtaking, from the reds of the jets to the orange of the sooty cavity, and even the purples found elsewhere. It all looks great, and is certainly a very exciting image to celebrate one year of JWST. If you'd like to know more about what JWST did in its first year of observations, I made this video up here covering what I think are the 10 best images it's released so far, so please check that out after this one if you're interested. A nice detail in row O though is the presence of circumstellar disks around many of the stars, casting telltale shadows in space. These are huge rings of matter around the young stars that will go on to form planets and moons, possibly providing homes for the future inhabitants of our galaxy. As with all JWST images, there are tons of galaxies visible in the background too. Not meant to be the focus of this image, but beautiful nonetheless. In other JWST news, it recently imaged this gorgeous galaxy, called NGC 3256. It's the result of the merger of two galaxies long ago, and it has all the qualities of a classic JWST image. Beautiful colours, stunning textures, background galaxies, stars with diffraction spikes, and so much more. There's even a nice halo of lighter colour around the burning red skeleton of the galaxy, and just look at the improvements this shows when compared to an older Hubble image of the same galaxy. Just wonderful. JWST has also investigated the remnants of supernova that have occurred in the relatively recent past, one from 2004 and one from 2017. These stellar explosions took place in the same galaxy, NGC 6946, and now JWST has observed huge dust reservoirs around each of these cosmic corpses. Dust is an essential building block for pretty much every object in the universe, so this is actually a pretty exciting discovery, despite the fact that it's mainly about dust. The final images I want to show you today are of an irregular galaxy called NGC 6822, and here we get to see countless stars as JWST images a zoomed in portion of the galaxy. We get to see it in near infrared as well as in mid-infrared here, which highlights the dust in the galaxy even better. And then we got a combined shot that uses data from both near and mid-infrared too. This is a beautiful series of shots, showing off red wisps and trails of dust and gas scattered amongst the individually resolved stars. In near-infrared, the brightest stars shine in blue, and this blue orb down here is a globular cluster of stars. In the mid-infrared image, we can see the dust very prominently. 
Warmer dust is shown in orange, while cooler dust is shown to be closer to purple. And we can see gas in blue too, telling us of the presence of specific hydrocarbons. We can also see distant background galaxies too in orange and green, and even supernova remnants in the galaxy too, such as this red ring near the center of the image. Another wonderful shot from JWST. I'll leave links in the description so you can read more about all of these stories, especially the ones I just mentioned quickly at the end. And you can leave me any questions you have in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.